What's up YouTube? It's your girl Sophia from RSVP and I'm back with a new video. Happy New Year everybody! It's my first video for the New Year. Um, I wanted to do a haul video for you guys today because I've been in these streets. Everybody has sale. All the sale is winding down now. So I did get a few things from Zara, H&M, Simons and a few places. I'm gonna show you all the items that I got on sale. There were some really, really great deals. So if you're interested in seeing my clothing, shoes, and accessory haul, then keep on watching. Well, yeah, my hair is looking a little crazy because I just washed it and let it air dry today. So I need to put some heat on it and all that good stuff. I'm gonna start with a couple things that I picked up from a store that we have here called Simons. Um, it's originally from Montreal, but they have a location in Ontario now, and it's in the Square One Mall. So Simons is kind of a department store. Well, it is a department store, and they sell um, regular price items all the way up to designer luxury items. They have bathroom, kitchen. It's a really good all-around department store that you can find everything in. I saw a bunch of things that were really great prices there at the end of their winter sale as well. So the first thing I picked up was this hat, which I was dying to show you guys. It is a Brixton, and don't mind my hair, but look how beautiful this fedora is, you guys. It is amazing. It's this beautiful elephant taupey color, which I like a lot. It's a size large. I can never find hats that fit my head with my wig. Um, so I can't wear those Forever 21 hats. I can't wear pretty much any hat from any of those places because they never fit. They're too tight. This one, I can't see what the material is, but I want to see say that it's wool. Okay, here it is. Yeah, 100% wool. So you know this is a really good quality hat. It's well made. It's very structured. And then it has just a little brown ribbon going around uh, the top of it. So I'm in love with it. I wore it out of the store when I bought it, and I think I'm going to wear it for the rest of this video, if you guys don't mind. Yes, I love this. The best part about this hat was the price. It was $19.99. I have no idea how I found it. Oh, yeah. But what I wanted to show you was look at the quality. There's a leather band on the inside. That's how you know it's well made. Great quality, great materials, great structure. And what I love about this is my makeup or my foundation doesn't transfer to the hat because of the leather so I can wipe it off and there's no mess or anything like that so loving this hat from Simons and then I picked up this super cute shawl scarf as well it was $9.99 and what I loved about it was not only the size because it's huge but how cute is this guys it has all these patches all over it which, oh my goodness, I was in love with that. It was $55, and I got it on sale for $9.99, you guys. They still have a lot of this scarf. As I said, it's huge, so you can wrap it all the way around you. You can wear it with a jacket. It's amazing. And then you can let all the patches show if you want. So this is a really good buy. And it comes in navy, gray, and black. And as I said, when I got this yesterday, they probably had about nine of them left. So this is awesome. I think that's it from Simon. I want to show you guys some clothing items. It's not a lot. So the first item I want to show you guys is just this really super cute maxi dress. I got it because I'm going to go on vacation in March and I thought this is what a, a really this is a really nice dress that you can wear on the resort to dinner in the daytime out shopping and it's a beautiful neon yellow so I thought this was cute it was on sale for $9.99 it was clearing at Choi's so I thought why not the next thing I picked up from Choi's oh I love this so much and I'm disappointed at the same time is this sweatshirt look how cute it is with this bow detail I love this sweatshirt. Um, I put it on my Instagram and everyone loved it. The only problem, I ordered it in a size large because I'm sure that it wouldn't have been big enough. And it has zipper detail at the back and it's actually a pretty fitted sweatshirt. So if it's like an extra small. I haven't tried it on yet, but I know just from looking at it that it's going to be really, really tight on my body. So I'm going to see if I can fit if the arms don't look crazy because I have really long arms. 
I'm going to see if I can style it up a certain way for you guys and show you how I rock this, but I think it would look good with leather pants. Pretty simple. So the next item I got is from H&M. It's this sweater jumpsuit. It's like joggers, but they're knit. And then it has a matching hoodie. Uh, that's backwards. Matching hoodie. I wanted it in the nude color. There was a nude color that I wanted to wear with the new chucks that are coming out in the pastel shades. But the nude was regular 40 bucks each piece, and I was like, no. So the gray was on clearance for $20 each piece, so I was like, let me get this. It's comfortable. You can wear it if you're traveling. You know, something easy to wear. So I got that. What else? Oh, I have some other cute things to show you guys. This I also posted on Instagram the other day. It's these super cool stockings that I picked up. I'll try and link the picture from my Instagram, but it might just only be on my Instagram. But these are like a sexy hosiery that they sell in the stag shop, which is a sex toy shop. And it's like that uh, leather look or wet look uh, faux leather. But they're really cool because they have the actual like suspender style. It's all in one. So this is all like one piece. You just wear it over your underwear. And then if you wear, I wore it with a cute little dress. Ooh, as a matter of fact, where is that dress? Oh my God, I have to show you guys that dress because that's what I wore it with and it's new. Hold on one second. Super cute slip dress, looks like that. It's like a silky material. I'm pretty sure it's silk actually. Um, and it's just like a baby doll camisole type slip dress looks amazing under a tight biker jacket that's what i wore it with from mendocino was on sale for twenty dollars so really really great deals okay i have some more accessories to show you guys and then i will move on to the shoes do you guys wear like tights like tights like i don't know about you guys but if you're trying to stay warm in the winter and you want to layer and you don't feel uncomfortable with tights under your jeans or thicker tights with skirts. These hue tights are amazing. I wonder what den they are so I could tell you guys the thickness. Um, it just says sweater tights. So they're super thick. Um, I love these tights because they keep me warm when I'm wearing like leather or when I'm wearing something thin. And at the local Bay department store in Toronto, these were clearing for $7, which they're regular price 20 bucks each. These really get me through the winter and I picked them up in like I got four pairs of the black, two pairs of the navy. I wanted a pair of gray but the gray was regular price so I said I'll wait for another sale. But hue tights are really good especially for layering. So My favorite accessory that I picked up on this whole shopping or whole collective haul is Kelvin. Kelvin is the fur hat that I've been going crazy on Instagram about. Oh my goodness, you might have seen my last blog post where I shared an outfit where I styled uh, this hat. And this hat is from Rudsack. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it so much. It is $275. I actually got it on sale 30% off. Um, but it features a nice raccoon fur, I believe it is. It is real fur and inside is nice and lined. It's almost like a puffy jacket. The way that it feels so it keeps your head really really warm and then on top you have an adjustable leather strap and if you take the strap out then you are able to drop the ears so if you want to wear it like this you can wear it like that but I prefer to wear it like the way June Ambrose wears hers I just love it on her and hers is like really huge plus hers is all fur I'm pretty sure but I really love the idea of this lambskin leather um, and I actually really love the patch logo that they have at the back. So this hat is called Kelvin. They have it on the website and in store. It comes in brown and black. And I know the brown was on sale. So it got marked down to, I believe, 219 So check rudsack.com to see if they have any left. But this hat is amazing. I just, I want to wear it on days when it's not even freezing. So this is amazing. Okay, so I'm going to start with some footwear. And so interesting, this haul is kind of all over the place because they were all random things that I got, but they all kind of, you know, everything kind of has a place. These shoes I picked up just before Christmas at Banana Republic. 
They're adorable and they're like fur. Let's see if you can see up close. That's what they look like. And the heel's not too bad. It's a sling back style. But I don't know why, but I've been really feeling blue lately. So, you know, I picked up that blue vest from Marciano. It's the same color. I picked up a couple of blue things. I think these will all look nice year round. And these will look especially nice with a good pair of jeans um, or a dress. So I'm really loving these. I got them at the 50% off sale at Banana Republic. This was just before Christmas. So it was 50% off the sale price. I, I want to say they were between $30 and $40. They were really, really, really a good price. And that was with tax. So I know there's still a few peeking around here and there. So if you go to your local banana, they still have 50% off the sale. You might find them. I picked up some boots on sale at Zara. The first pair sold out pretty quickly online and I don't know why I found a size 40 in store and was like let me just try them and see and I tried them and they didn't hurt. Uh, they're these over the knee faux leather uh, cap toe boots. They're super cool because they go all the way up and they're skin tight. Uh, I know I have a picture of them on my Instagram for you guys to see but these were a great deal. I got them on sale for $59. So I'm excited to rock these. I've worn them a couple times. I just did a blog post, but you can't really see them. So I want to wear them in the daylight so you guys can see them in some other pictures. Then I also got for $59 these velvet ones. I just checked one day when the mall was super dead. Nobody was in Zara. There was no lineup. I just started looking under the racks and then I came across this velvet pair which you guys also probably saw in one of my recent blog posts from last week. Um, these were a steal and again they fit like a glove. They really really hug my leg. They go all the way over the knee. These are awesome and I'm loving these because of the trend right now with the over the knee boots and the rip hoodie. So I'm just loving that Kim K style. It's really really cool and I'm actually going to do a new video. I ordered two new pairs of over the top boots that I want to style in a lookbook for you guys. So hopefully I'll be able to do that for you guys soon. I also have one more pair of boots which are the boots that I said I would put them on hold yesterday think about them overnight and then if I really wanted them I would go back and pick them up today I did those boots never heard of this brand in my life Penelope Chilvers okay so these boots I just saw them in the clearance section where I found the hat they were originally five hundred twenty five dollars I went on the company's website they're 269 pounds, so they're actually 450 Canadian, and they were not on sale, so this was a real deal, you guys, because these boots were $99, and they're, I think, a Spanish-made boot, and they are made in Spain, so leather sole, leather insole, this is what they look like inside, one of the best made pair of Chelsea boots I've seen in a really long time like I had to think about it because I was like okay they're velvet they're gray but look at the leather detail here the little hook to get them on and off easier look at the detail here leather trim with the actual stitching like an engravement the shape of the boot is traditional to the brand they have a lot of uh, boots that are shaped like that if you notice the heel goes out a little bit at the back but they're just absolutely stunning they're well made amazing quality and they look so good on so I got them in a 41 they're just so beautiful and they come with a really nice dust bag too really organic looking so cool I want to say these are handmade. I'll do a little bit of research because I'm going to do a blog post just on these for sure. But I imagine myself wearing these all the way through summer with a nice pair of fitted jeans ripped at the knee and a white V and right accessories and a perfect bag. So I'm really excited to rock those. Um, yeah, so that might be it that I had to show you guys. This wasn't going to be a super long haul. I do have a lot of beauty stuff to show you guys. My next beauty haul, I want to do a little giveaway for you guys. I have a lot of beauty stuff to show you. I haven't used any of it yet. 
um, and I know I'm getting some more packages so I'm just waiting for those but I'm going to do a giveaway of this really cute lip aid kit that I got from ESOS. Um, I received one for giveaway and one for review. So it smells amazing. I'm dying to give this away. It's been sitting around since Christmas. But I haven't done that video yet. So I will put it up soon. I think I've shown you guys everything. That's all the stuff that I bought. Thumbs this video up if you want to see more hauls. I wanted to do the winter essentials because I've been rocking some serious scarves, gloves, and really nice hats this season. And um, I wanted to share some of what I'm styling with you guys if you need a little help in that area. So if you guys are interested in see that, put your comment below. Thanks so much for watching. I will be back in the next week or so with another video for you guys. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, follow my blog, and uh, yeah, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.